Dr. Farzad Masoudi, CEO of Masoudi Foundation, partnered with Marie Curie Science Research Center, said what is nanotechnology and why does it matter? Well, picture this, a world where we can manipulate and control devices and materials at an almost unimaginably small scale. Molecular, to be precise. This is nanotechnology, a discipline that has revolutionized not just physics and chemistry, but also neuroscience. The journey of nanotechnology starts with a significant lecture in 1959. Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman presented, There's plenty of room at the bottom, a talk that laid the foundation for the concepts and principles of nanotechnology. However, the term nanotechnology was first coined in 1974 by Norio Taniguchi, a professor at Tokyo University. Dr. Masudi added, over the past two decades, nanotechnology has profoundly influenced how scientists study and interact with the brain. It has even spurred the development of innovative treatments for neurological disorders. The primary focus of nanotechnology lies in the manipulation and control of devices and materials at the molecular scale, typically between 1 and 100 nanometers. Now, you might wonder, what exactly is a nanometer? It's a unit so small that our regular understanding of size simply doesn't do it justice. A nanometer is a billionth of a meter. That's nine orders of magnitude smaller than a meter, or less than 0.0000004 inches. To put it into perspective, imagine walking from New York City to San Diego. It's a journey few would attempt because of the sheer distance. But if you could increase your speed by 10 times, similar to going from walking to driving, you'd be changing the order of magnitude. You could cross the country in a few days instead of months. Dr. Masoudi mentioned, now imagine increasing your speed by a billion times. That's the jump we're talking about when we go from a meter to a nanometer. To sum up, nanotechnology is a field of science that allows manipulation at a molecular level, a scale so small that it's hard to comprehend. It's a discipline that sprung from the ideas of Richard Feynman in the late 50s and was officially named in the 70s by Norio Taniguchi. Today, it's a pivotal part of neuroscience research, opening doors to new treatments and ways of studying the brain. The world of nanotechnology is tiny in scale, but vast in potential. It is indeed a small world with big possibilities.